It's our honor to be joined once again by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, who was with us for some very important conversation earlier in the week. He joins us now to talk about a relationship that was important to him. It's a, a 30 for 30 that you'll see on Sunday, Be Water, about Bruce Lee. And Kareem, I'm fascinated by this relationship and the origin of it. So you tell me, how did, how did this uh, relationship with Bruce Lee begin? Uh, it started while I was attending UCLA. Uh, right before my junior year started, um, I had started studying uh, Oriental martial arts. Returned to Los Angeles, and I uh, knew someone who knew the editor of Black Belt Magazine who uh, wanted to recommend that I study with Bruce. So I, I go over to Bruce's house, and um, he asked me about what I trained, how, you know, how I trained, what I'd done. And he told me to punch and kick this bag. And he stood behind the bag and had me punch and kick it. And said, hmm, that's interesting. Then he had his wife come out. Linda comes out. He says, uh, stand behind the bag, and Linda's going to kick the bag. And I'm like, okay, this, this is uh, something, that, no big deal. And Linda kicked the bag, and the force that she put into the bag made me fly off at the the other side, and it was like, geez, you know, Linda only weighed maybe about 120, 125 pounds and could uh, generate that kind of force. And um, I immediately was won over, and I, I wanted to train with them and uh, was able to train with them for the next four years. I read an article in The Hollywood Reporter where y you spoke after Once Upon a Time in Hollywood came out, and you're a Tarantino fan, but, but you felt that the, the way he was depicted in that film left a bit for you to be desired. How so? Well, you know, Bruce did not go around uh, acting like a jerk. He didn't do that. Real tough guys don't act like that. No. Well, and, and it's... Anybody that's just quickly Googling that wants to see you in the Game of Death YouTube videos, like we see a guy who's far beyond that moment with, with Linda, right? By that point, you were quite capable. How, what was the sort of stage, I guess I'd say, Kareem, that, that you reached in terms of your capability with the martial arts? Well, I, you know, it, it's hard to compare one martial art to another. Okay. You know, it's all about how effective you can make what you learn from any one system. And uh, I thought I, I did very well. Um, I definitely knew how to defend myself. That, that was all it was about. Meeting him and training with him translated to your basketball career. And this article that I read, you believe that your training with him helped you stay injury free. And, and what, what was that? What would you attribute that to, Kareem? Well, uh, Bruce always uh, emphasized the uh, effectiveness of stretching. So, you know, before we worked out, we stretched all the time. And uh, that was it. I took that to another level by uh, studying yoga and being able to uh, uh, advance as, as a yoga student. And that really was the, the best uh, preventive maintenance that, that I could have been doing, you know, in the off season. Uh, so I do strength training, flexibility training, cardiovascular training, those three. And uh, I only took off two weeks out of the whole year. The rest of the time, I made sure I, I worked out uh, three or at least three or four times a week. Are you still stretching? Yeah, yeah. You got to, you, you know, right? To. You, we get, we get yeah. older, man. It becomes so much more difficult. I lay down on the ground yeah. to try to stretch my hips. I can't stand back up. And then you, then you remember when you could do things and touch certain parts of your body and all this stuff. <laughs> and it's not happening anymore. So well, uh, the you got to do something. Well, the, the places you touched, only you have touched as it relates, obviously, to your NBA greatness. We're, we're so grateful for your time throughout this week. And thanks in, uh, for sharing some thoughts about uh, this film we'll see this, this Sunday, Be Water. Kareem, stay well. Thank you so much for being with us. I will do that. Thank you so much. You have a good one. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.